hello everyone and welcome back to another torchlight infinite video today we're going with uh day five day five day four day four day four upgrades so uh i i didn't think i was going to to have a lot to to share in this video but you know during the day uh we got we got lucky after spending copious amounts of FEs and uh, flames and trying to trying to hit the upgrades. So uh, the first thing we got is I finally managed to craft a good weapon. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably be uploading another video where I go over how to how to craft something like this. But you know anyone that has been playing around with the system probably has an idea of of how it can be done basically uh, you know it's 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 kind of extensive the 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 explanation so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave it at that you know these two i just i just smashed them after after finishing getting this through prototype i got these four through, through prototype then upgraded them and then just slam and i managed to hear a hit a tier zero a tier one and a tier zero. It was, you know, extremely, extremely lucky. So, you know, uh, we upgraded from our previously. Let's see. I don't know. I've been crafting so many. Here, there you go. These are all the ones that I that I that I was crafting. So, our previous weapon was this one, four o four, which was pretty good actually. Then. From that 404 weapon, I switched to another one that I crafted as well today. I think it was this one, the, the one that we're holding into right now is the, the other one I was I was attempting to craft and I ended up hitting, hitting this, you know, out of plasticity. Uh, I took, I don't know how much, how much FE because I probably didn't do it uh, very efficiently in the beginning. But anyway, uh, we got the weapon. Then the other change was okay. This belt, I don't, I don't think I. Yeah, I didn't share this belt yesterday. I didn't have it. I, I, I think I, I got this after the after yesterday's video. So what do we have here? Uh, pale mist is is it is this better than pale mist? Uh, in terms of damage, no. I wanted this belt for more defense. I wanted a I wanted to get more life. I wanted a defensive mod and mod and most importantly I wanted to cap my erosion rest, which is what we did. So that's why I switched it up. Um the region is nice. The the cast immediately war cry allows you to add another setup that we're we'll be going over later. Uh damage taken at low mana is pretty good. I can I can still, you know, try to remove this you know reforge then try to craft it again or i could craft something else here but i'll probably just leave it as it is or maybe you know i'll try to to tier zero some of these the um if i tier zero and i remove decks then it's super gg because then i can slam another suffix that's pretty good amulet i changed it a little bit not sure if it's the same as the video of yesterday but you know i changed the amulet the boots remain the same. Haven't haven't crafted this. Like all my currency went into you know this three pieces, and this is the latest one I hit. Also kind of a lucky craft. How I got this is I just bought the plus one, then prototype crafting. I hit, I hit the added and the max life, and I think I had like tier two erosion. Then upgrading, I lost the erosion rest, but you know it was good enough. Then I. Then I slammed it through target to get this and I managed to hit a tier zero after maybe five or six attempts. So that could have been so this. Um maybe 40, 50 FE. No, just this is 50. This this attempt is 50. So maybe a hundred FE to craft this ring. But you know, more erosion rest, elemental rest. Uh, higher physical damage to attacks and the plus two focus blessings to get us to the 13 which is the minimum to to cap this to get the quadruple damage every time so that's uh, a big big upgrade 
Uh, and I I ended up switching my other ring for this chaotic ending. I tested this a little bit. The damage difference wasn't massive, but it was good enough, in my opinion, for it to be to, to warrant being put here, especially since I was going to eventually add more focus blessings to the build. So this mod this mod is very valuable to us. Critical damage per, per focus blessing. The fervor effect actually doing the calculations with the with the fervor effect that we currently have. I don't need crit rating anywhere. I don't I don't I don't need to stack crit rating anywhere anymore. We're we're, we're crit capped. Even you know this gear crit rating, I don't really need it. The the five fifty of the weapon is is good enough for me to be at hundred percent. So fervor effect is really really powerful and and if we get if we if we manage to get more slates that have you know the crit damage per fervor the attack damage per fervor or you know there's one for movement speed per fervor all of that is going to be scaled with this so it's a very powerful mod and this mod actually this damage per fervor gets scaled by fervor effect so this ring this ring is pretty strong it's a, it's a very strong combination then Okay, since I managed to level the restraint to max level, let me just go for my notes. Okay, yeah, we went for this. Um, so I managed to get the restraint to level 20. I removed the superpower to add, you know, more armor. Armor is really powerful right now. This is just a level, a level 11 and it's already 2000 armor. Uh, 2000 armor is, you know, like one of these gear pieces. So it's like Having an additional gear pieces, I think, is really worth it. If you check how much mitigation armor is giving us right now, it's you know forty three percent fist mitigation, twenty six uh, elemental mitigation. So it's really strong for anyone that plays PoE. You know, it's like armor right now works like like having transcendence or the the juggernaut the juggernaut point where, you know, armor mitigates physical and non-physical damage as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm going I'm going all out, all out into armor. That's why I, I did that setup here. The uh, rejuvenation has to go a little bit lower because I cannot fit it. As you can see, I have no mana. The good thing is that through the Ronin skill, uh, nothing, like, my attack doesn't cost mana, but these two do. So that's why I had to add the cost conversion. Since we have the... the the instant Warcry belt, I can now use Resurrection Warcry. Um, it has a plus one use, so I don't I don't really need to add the 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 support to add another use to it. And I just use this when whenever I need some healing. I use the emergency restoration and the armor efficient for another mitigation. Uh, usually use Berserk here, but as I told you, I don't need crit rating, and I rather have the restoration be more powerful than just having some crit rating that I don't need. And Fearless Warcry. Fearless Warcry is actually somewhat, just somewhat better than Fixate. Fixate is pretty good. I um, actually need to need to add a Mark to the build because Mark is going to be uh, uh, a lot of damage. But I need to figure out how. Probably add it to the Thunder Spirit somehow. But, you know, I'll, I'll have to switch the setup around. But even... Yeah. Even even with the Warcry effect, Fearless Warcry is still very strong, don't get me wrong, so uh, it's good that we can fit it in the build. Again, cost conversion, be able to cast it. Powerful Warcry, so I can get the increased effect. This actually scales with effect and just send the duration to, you know, but a little bit longer. Bull Rage still there. Same Crescent Hit setup. I haven't been able to buy the Precise because I spent all my money in crafting. I did buy a Precise Euphoria which was like maybe 20 FE. And I did buy a Precise Acuteness Symbo, which is also, was also uh, rather cheap. Okay, so we got the Auras, the Chaotic Ending, and uh, with the new damage setup, uh, I'll, ju I'll just do a, a quick dummy test. We don't have order right now, so uh, I have less damage than I, than I really have, or that I have at the, at the beginning of a map. There's this weird thing that happens that my skill doesn't really cost mana, but sometimes, sometimes I cannot cast it at zero mana, so, so that's why sometimes it stops me from from using it. 
well enough but you can see you know it's it's sustaining there at 100 million um, getting to up to 500 million and this is on on the this is on the clear setup right now since since we have this damage i can now do t8s actually uh rather comfortably so that's that's gonna be the next part of the video i'm gonna gonna do a, a, t, a t8 showcase uh, you know still for clear we still use the praise for injury for single target again we switch divine arbiter's hands this thing with the fervor this is all all we need here i i need to i need to to craft this there is there is a really good mod yeah i can i can add in because i will have to enchant it again but there's another mod for for glows which is eliminates uh eliminate is you know like calling strike is this note here Eliminate enemies under 8% life. You can get that on the globes. So I could use this point elsewhere, you know, maybe get more knock back. Oh, um, I, I think I didn't mention this before. I switched this again because I, I made the, I, I did numbers. I don't need the lucky crit because we have like, even, you know, even without this, even before I made the switch, I had like 97% crit chance. So, you know, Lucky doesn't really make any sense. Lucky is good if you have, you know, 60, 40 to 60%. Uh, after that, it's just meaningless to have Lucky. So, uh, what I did is switch into Gravity. It's additional damage that you have always. And you get the reverse knockback. So that's why I added the point here. So that sometimes when you're running... From pack to pack and, and a pack is really being a little bit sturdy. You're just pulling it towards you as you move to the next one. And then you kill one, then the other the pack explodes and you and you keep moving forward. It makes the clear a little bit more comfortable. And since I don't need this base crit, this with the amount of fervor effect I had, I think I calculated at let me see. It's like 276 crit rating, base crit. Um, which is, you know, 2.2% base crit chance. Again, I have 100, so I don't, I don't need it. So I switch to impending. Impending makes enemies take up to 30% 30, 30 more damage. Pretty good. And uh, roaming. So for T8s, I decided to switch to centralized. Now, uh, the way centralized works is... Um, Whenever, whenever you 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 already have fervor, um, you gain you gain twenty five percent of the of the of the fervor that you already have. So it makes it makes you gain fervor faster, and and it, it's great because whenever you get hit every you know point three seconds, you lose half of your fervor, half of the fervor that you have, not just half of total her fervor, just whatever you have at that at the time. To reduce the damage taken further. So this is another thing that I think might be mandatory to, you know, properly do T8s uh, in a very comfortable fashion. Uh, you know, Sprinkle is, oh, is still very good uh, on T7. You don't need the extra defense, but on T8, I, I, would, I would go for Centralize. Uh, still uh, Falling Leaves. I'm trying to balance... To balance my 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 stats to be able to get trade off, I I think trade off would be a massive amount of damage for us. You know, getting additional attack speed and additional attack damage is going to be uh, really strong. But we're not quite there yet. With close, it's a little bit closer. Um, I just need to get rid of you know strength rolls. Once I get rid of all the strength rolls and you know getting rid of these gloves, eh, that will probably that will probably balance it out and and then. Uh, I can switch the node and that will be ideal. And when we're doing a boss fight, still I go to instant smash with the fervor gloves. Uh, when we're doing clear, um, I still use endless fervor. Uh, I just realized as well that, you know, the armor damage mitigation penetration, this stat is really, really strong because, you know, they changed the way the uh, armor mitigation works. So, no. Um, yeah, I, th I think I think I can get into showcase while I talk about this. So, um, I I was I was crafting two two different weapons, and one of them had 
armor, damage mitigation, penetration, and the other one didn't. The other one had, you know, a tier 1 attack speed. It had actually more base damage in itself, but because of the of the damage mitigation, uh, it ended up being better, so... I think using, using this support, not Precision Strike. Precision Strike is still really good, but Tendon Slicer for, you know, really tough enemies, especially when doing, you know, the... We're going to do a Guardian soon, so that, that is a situation where you would want to, to have more mitigation penetration. And... And you know, for, for real bosses, you switch to actually ignoring the armor completely. Um, I'm still have to figure out whether or not I can I can ignore more than 100% of their armor, you know, to, to make them go into negative mitigation. That would be interesting. Okay, I just, yeah, I just finished this one. Let's add... Imbue or chain or aura. What is this? Erosion, channel, dot, and curse. Okay, I'm gonna add this for now. The one channel. I don't want erosion damage affixes. I don't want DOTs. I I can use curse. Almost almost blocked all this stuff that don't we, that we don't need from the candles. So we're gonna start to get some powerful candles. We'll go back to that link. Uh, actually, you know, I think we can clear this. So yeah, the I, I, I gotta say that the most important upgrades, I would say, uh, remains the weapon. You know, the belt and the ring did provide a little bit extra, extra oomph, extra damage to the build, but. No, the weapon is is what made me actually be able to, to move into T8s, and as you can see, the clear is comfortable enough. I don't think I can, I can play with full offset degrees. You know, adding the compasses and doing doing maximum number of quantity and rarity yet, but we're getting there, we're getting there. You know, already already be able to being able to clear T8s allows you to get a lot more 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 money you know you start getting the t8 bases you get into t8 traveler uh, i think there is also some new there's also some the the new blueprints uh seem to drop only from t8s from from what i've seen i dropped a a fiend crown blueprints in in one of the maps i was running before Also, with this, with the current gear, the explode from the from the praise for injury becomes way more important for tier clearing. Like it will be, it will be rather uncomfortable to clear them without the explode. Or you know, if you can find yourself another source of explode. I you know that was that was uh, rather a safe clear. So let's get into the the watcher. The watcher. Okay. See, new bases. So these are all, 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 all of them very powerful. You have the max life ring. You have the crit damage ring. It's uh, sip strike attempts amulets. This is the you know the rash. More precise stuff. Oh, I don't. I, I think the crit damage rings only drops from the from the TA traveler probably. I'm gonna gonna keep the the current setup. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna switch it off. Maybe I should. Yeah, this guy is tough. Uh, it it won't it really won't make a difference now. If if I die, I'm I'm switching the setup. Ah. Uh, this guy. Here's really tough. It's a lot of damage. Okay. We're gonna do the thing. Instant smash. Uh, 
the gloves. I'm actually gonna switch to full damage. Because I don't I don't wanna die again. You know, I'm almost almost leveled up. And you know, since I'm ignoring armor, I can have precision strike. really fast like the the first line I didn't even see it oh you see he didn't even have a chance okay get this and we got the rarity belt nice okay so um, I'm gonna do a showcase of what damage looks like in this in this setting now. You know, have to wait for the ram, the burst to activate, but we can expect something like that. 600 mil. Pretty good, pretty good. I think I think this is this is more than enough to 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 kill PA traveler at the moment. Oh, actually, hello, Bill. Okay. Pleasant surprise. Right. Uh, so as soon as I'm I'm done with the travelers, with the with the watchers, I'm gonna go for TA Traveler. And I'm gonna start doing POBs as well. Uh, I'll have I'll have a video of the of the POBs clear as well. And I might try I might try the pirate. I need to get myself an invitation for the pirate. I already killed the guy, you know. We got the, the first with uh, the first kill with Thea. Um, I kill the low bearer. I drop. I drop an invitation. I actually drop the second invitation. I have it here, um, but I don't have the first. I want to. I want to attempt the second try of the low bearer, and and I haven't done Keegan. I don't. I don't really know the fight, but I want. I want to try it this season. I'm actually going going to try this Hunter's Forge challenge now, because I know these kill. Pretty, pretty high. Hopefully, yeah, I don't die. Thanks, and this might have been a mistake. Ah, good. Okay. The judgment of the gods shall not be. So yeah, I would say that is 99% the weapon. 99% the weapon going from 404 base. This damage to 729 is really, really good. Um, next upgrades. I need to change the boots. Need higher movement speed. Need to get an actual good mod here. I need maybe a couple more tier ones. And I don't know. Need to figure out what I what I want to the boots. Uh, here. I actually have a base I want to craft on this, this maximum elemental, so it will be good to have the max LA res with the plus one skill level. And you know I could still use the additional dot damage taken, but I don't think I need that one. I think plus one skill, max LA res, and uh, you know some life, some region would be would be ideal. The helmets. Uh I'm I, I have a Small project going on with the helmet, which is since we are whirlwind, we always have the barrier right because of the of the guard support. So there is this this that I was working on, which is increasing barrier absorption. Barrier by default absorbs twenty percent of the of the dam fifty percent of the damage. So this takes it to fifty five percent, and the barrier shield. If I'm not mistaken, makes it so instead of uh, 20, that will be it'll be 20 times 0 0.35, that is 7. So it's 27% of my total life will be converted to barrier. So you know it increases, it, it adds a little bit of, of layers of defense. Of course I want the armor here as well. But I need to sort out defenses elsewhere before I go into that. We the weapon, it, there's still ways further to go with the weapon but so what you what what you want here ideally is 
Uh, so the prefixes, again, you want the gear fees, you want the increased gear fees, and you either want this hybrid flat or um, or this one, the, the hybrid percentage with the skill radius is pretty good, or, you know, even the additional damage applied to life is good. I think the mitigation penetration is, is, is decent as well. And with suffixes, the most important suffix to get is the tier 0 minimum channel because it takes it to... Uh, oh, well, why isn't it showing here? Okay, yeah. Well, uh, minimum channel goes to 5 five to 6 instead of 3 to 4 when you, when you get it to tier 0. So that basically allows you to drop to drop channel prep and get a way higher multiplier here uh, such as you know crit damage crit damage for us is 45 percent additional damage get you know increase area for better clear uh and this is only erosion now yeah and any of those could be and the slicer is good uh mini knockback is good raid i haven't made the math on raid but it, it that's no, just double damage, so it's probably not, not great for us. But you know, you, you you add more damage that way. So that's the that's the weapon. The belt, you know, getting more tier ones here. The amulet, I want it seal mana. I don't know. Need to figure out the amulet as well. So um yeah, that that's all I have for today. If you if you have any any suggestions on on something that you would like to see regarding this build uh, or regarding any of the of the systems of the game, any questions you might have, feel free to let it, to let them in the description below. And uh, any I, I appreciate you watching this video till the end. If you like this content, if you like the the build, feel free uh, make sure you you share it and you know leave a like and uh, subscribe channel. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much and have a have a good one.